Hi everybody, welcome to the harmonica barge. Today I've got a great gospel groove. This is one of my favourite harmonica riffs of all time. It's a song called Gonna Wait Till a Change Come from the preaching gospel harmonica player Alda Roma Wilson. Just before we get started with the riff, uh, do give us the thumbs up, like and subscribe if you haven't already. That helps me out a lot. Thank you. So this lesson is one of my in-depth lessons. If you want to get much deeper into it, do follow the link below in the description. So we're just going to do a basic version of what I call the call riffs. I'm just going to play you the thing now to give you a sample. Three, four. so on it's groovy isn't it we've got this kind of call and response part so we've got a call riff and a response riff i'm going to give you a basic version of the call riff and we're going to really try and get the groove going so first of all you might just want to clap this riff i'm going da 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 okay da 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 I'm just da da da, or I could la la la, whatever, it doesn't matter. So the feel and the groove with this is very important. So I'm starting with a two. I'll just do a pucker version for now, a nice basic version. So I've got a two draw, then a chord in. And then we're going to the three half step bend. Now this is quite important for this one, I'd say. Your half step bend wants to be really on it in terms of being in tune as much as you can. So you get that nice haunting interval from the two draw to the three draw. Bum, bum, that's the minor third, two, three. Now, when you've got that, you can also dirty that up a little bit by adding a bit of four if you can. If not, don't worry about it. So I'm playing a three draw and I'd say this is a characteristic of this style. If you can't bend yet, just play a three and four. Oh, I bent it. I can't help it. So the first, the first half of the riff. And we're moving on now to another two draw and a chord and then we've got a two draw bent to full step and a one draw and two chords out so you can see there if you're puckering this you've got quite a bit of embouchure changing so I'm going from single to chord so actually, I mean, it's quite a good one to slow down if you're not used to playing chords. If you want to put chords in with a riff, this is a kind of cool way to do it. So I'm going... And you can even just practice that on its own, the first two eighth notes going... So Alda Roma Wilson, the harmonica player uh, featured in this track, I believe he lived till he was 107 or 108 and he was still preaching and playing harp when he was 104. So what about that? Isn't that amazing? And I remember when I first heard this recording, I was actually, I was painting the roof of my boat and I was listening to a mixed cloud show uh, that featured a bunch of old gospel and I just heard this harmonica playing and it just made me stop work and think, what is that? I just had to check this out some more and it's kind of unusual style of playing very cool to my ears uh, just really really love this kind of groovy style and it's very raw so you know if you if you do make some mistakes and you make some of the notes raggedy that's totally fine I mean I tend to recommend with students play clean first and build your control and then you can dirty it up after, but hey, you know, some people might want to take the shortcut. That's fine. Uh, so we're going to put all this together. And of 
course, there's lots of variations of this and a whole bunch of response riffs. So if you do want to get into the in-depth lesson, in that I also bring in some extra percussion shaker. There's also a section where we can sing as well and bring in some of the vocals, which I include in the in-depth lesson. I'm gonna wait till the change come. I'm gonna wait till the change come. I'm gonna wait till the change come. Time shall bought it about. so on. So I strongly recommend you go and check out the original recording. I believe he's playing a C harmonica and if you're into this and you want to explore further of course do check out my in-depth lesson. I'll be back for another heart video very soon. Until then take care. Bye now.